Get off the internet, Stanley. It's time for bed. Mom, I just gotta do a couple more things. Now, Stanley, the internet will be waiting for you in the morning. Off! Oh, man. Shelly, off the internet. It's bedtime. Mom, I'm eye-catting with my boyfriend in Montana! Now, Shelly... Why do you hate me?! Randy, off the internet. No! No, come on! Leave me alone! No, mister. It's time for night-night. But Sharon, I got stuff to do. I gotta see my credit rating, and I gotta send an email to Nelson and check out Foley's vacation photos. You don't have to do all that now. You can do one more thing, and then it's bedtime. One more thing? I... I cater. Yeah. <laughs> the hell? Stan! Stan, I gotta use your computer! What? My internet's not working. I gotta use yours. And, and give Daddy some private time, will ya? My internet's not working either. What? Dad, the internet's not working! I know that, okay? I have to get online with my darling Amir before school starts! Randy, I can't get my email to open. Everyone, just, just calm down! Calm down, all right? It's going to be okay. We just can't panic! Gerald, please help us. Randy, what happened? Our house, it has no internet. Oh my god. We've got nothing. It's just gone. Come in. You can use our internet until you figure out what to do. Thank you, Gerald. I'm getting on it first. Oh no, you're not. Kyle, I need to use your internet. It's not working. What? I've even unplugged it and plugged it back in. No. No, our internet can't be broken. I I've got to get an attachment Larry sent me last night. It's not working, Gerald. But it has to work. Maybe if I put Your it internet's not working, Gerald! Face it! I have to get online before school. What about Starbucks? They have free internet. Right, Starbucks! Everyone get your stuff. We can take my car. Hey, is, is your guy's internet working? No, nobody's is. What's happening? Jesus, everyone's gonna go to Starbucks now. Everyone in the car. We have to beat them there. God, the whole neighborhood's affected. Get out of the way, Peterson. <laughs> Folks, there's, there's no internet here. It's not working, I tell you. It's not working here? Kids, get back in the car. We can go to the Mac store. No, don't. You're wasting your time. How do you know? Because we just came from there. There was nothing. Not one scrap of internet. How can there be no internet anywhere? What's going on? Anybody got a Blackberry? Check Drudge Report. Good idea. No, wait, we can't check Drudge Report. There's no internet. There has to be a way to find out what's going on. We can't. Don't you get it? There's no internet to find out why there's no internet. What did we used to do to get the news before the internet? A television. but we cannot bring you the news. It appears that we have no internet here at News 4. We'll be happy to bring you up on current events just as soon as our internet is back. Jesus, it's statewide. It could be nationwide. Hello? Do you have internet? It, it's Channel 4 News. No, we don't have internet either. No internet anywhere. Jesus, we're all alone. <coughs> What's the matter? I don't know. I need to get on WebMD and see why I have this cough, but I can't! 
<coughs> what if my sweetheart is online looking for me? He could be wondering why I don't get online with him. Maybe he thinks I'm dead. If my darling Amir gets another internet girlfriend, I'm gonna kill him. And you! Ah, ah, ah. Shelly! Shelly, whoa, stop, stop! Dad, you gotta do something. She's out of control. You're right. We can't just sit here any longer. Randy, where will you go? We're gonna head west. There's a rumor going around there might be some internet out there. So we're heading out California way. You don't know if there's any internet in California. Well, there certainly ain't none here. Look, maybe it's time you all face reality. The internet here is dried up. It could come back. Yeah, and maybe it won't. In the meantime, I got a family who needs internet right away. We'll head out California way and see what we can find. Come on, let's go. Look, if you, if you do find internet, let us know, will ya? How? You won't have internet. Sorry, folks, we're full up. Know anywhere else we can stay? We're heading out California way, looking for some internet. You and everyone else. You'll have to stay out at the transient camp with all the others heading to California. It's about a mile down the road. I'm going down the road feeling bad. I'm going down the road feeling bad. I'm going down the road feeling bad. Oh, Lordy, my internet done up and went away. <laughs> Where are you from, old-timer? Kansas City. Had me a store there. Kind of computer supply store. When the internet went, the stores went too. Things will be different when we get out to California. Soon as we get us some internet, we can all rest easy. Why, sure. Silicon Valley. They got a whole mess of internet up there. Say a man can practically roll around in it. When I get to that internet, I'm gonna click on just about everything in sight. Might even click on a pop-up ad just for the heck of it. Well, I'm gonna sit down at that internet and just start emailing. Just keep on emailing till my fingers are sore to the bone. Sure will be nice. You folks all heading to Silicon Valley? That's right. We need to get online. <laughs> get online, he said. What's so funny about that? Think about it. How many folk heading out to California? Million? More? And how much internet you think they got out there? Might be some internet, sure. But with everyone trying to use it at once, it's gonna go real slow like. I know it's because I seen it. My two children, they tried to load a web page. Took them over three days. They sat there waiting. And by the time the loading bar was only half full, they was dead. Starved on the internet with a belly stuck out like a pig bladder. <laughs> Come on, Stan, let's get some pets. <laughs> oh, me. I miss you so much. <laughs> don't, don't cry, Shelly. You'll be able to get online when we get to California. Everyone, wake up! We're here! Silicon Valley, California! Have internet here? Name? Marsh. Service provider? Net zero? All right, stay in line. Once you're inside, Red Cross volunteers will direct you to your campsite. So is there internet here? Stay in line and get to your campsite. Excuse me, 
were looking for some internet. Yeah, they got it here. All right. But there ain't enough to go around. All they got is a little internet. Barely a bar of signal. So they have to ration it out carefully. You sign up over there and use your time when they call your name. Each family gets 40 seconds of internet per day. 40 seconds? That ain't even long enough to check Wikipedia. Well, it's all we got, so we gotta make do. Look, honey, I ordered us some books on Amazon. All right, time's up. No, no, wait, I haven't entered the shipping information. No! No! Next, Brady, John H. Oh, how am I supposed to see internet porn that way? What did you say? Uh, you go ahead, Sharon. Divide some internet amongst the children. I gotta go talk to somebody. And that's about all we know. Uh, there might be some internet still in California and parts of Florida, though we certainly still don't have any here. A fax! A fax is coming through! Oh yeah, a fax! Oh, a fax! It's a fax! It's a fax! A fax! It's a fax! A fax. A fax. A fax. Oh, oh, it says... The government has sent their best people to the internet in order to repair it. We gotta send a reporter out to the internet! Where is the internet? Gentlemen, the president is very angry that his internet still isn't working. We've tried everything, sir, but the internet is slow to a trickle and we can't get it working correctly. Take me down below. I want to see the internet for myself. Here it is, General. The internet. So what's wrong with it? See that flashing orange light in the middle? It's supposed to be solid green. My God. <laughs> TheDancingKitty.com. Well, I wonder what that is. Uh, click on the Dancing Kitty and you could win a prize. <laughs> All right, time's up. No, wait, I, I just clicked on the kitty. I got it. No, it wasn't long enough. No! Next, Nelson Peter T. Excuse me, I need to, uh... Have some private internet time. Look, we're just trying to get by here. Everyone's got to take what they can get. I haven't jacked off in over two weeks. So jack off. You don't understand. I need the internet to jack off. I got used to being able to see anything at the click of a button, you know? Once you jack off to Japanese girls puking in each other's mouths, you can't exactly go back to Playboy. What do you want us to do? Pick up the whole computer and put it inside for ten minutes just for you? Three minutes would be plenty. Get lost! Oh. All right, each of you take a ticket. When they call your name, you can use the internet. What number are you, turd? 851. You're 923 now. Hey, Mom! Shelly, give your brother his ticket back. Can't you all see I'm in pain? Nobody understands pure love. Amir and I are closer than anybody in this stupid family! Oh. Over here. You happen to be looking for internet porn? Yeah, how'd you know? Lots of us fellas came here for that reason. We all got used to seeing lots of really perverted stuff on the internet, so now we can't go back to Playboy. I know, right? Anyway, we got us a simulator. You just call out what you want to see and then say click. Internet porn simulator. Give it a try. Uh, Japanese girls exchanging bodily fluids? Click. Oh, this sucks. I can't jack off to this. Damn it. Uh, let's see. Interracial gangbang. Click. Ah, uh, she-males. Let's try she-males. Click. Bestiality. Cl click on that. Uh, uh, Brazilian fart fetish porn? Click, click! Uh, uh, no, no, this isn't gonna work. 
It's just not the same. Well, sorry. That'll be $49 on your credit card. Well, at least that part's like the internet. We, we now have a reporter on the scene. Uh, let's go live. Tom, I'm at the internet, where government officials are doing their best to get it running again. All right, internet. What do you want from us? If we've angered you somehow, let us know. Try to communicate with it digitally again. I've had it with this thing. Fire a warning shot at it. soon. All right, folks, it's bedtime. No more internet for today. Oh! oh a little closer. No, 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 we're locking it away till tomorrow. Everyone get to bed. Oh, oh man, man. Oh. What? I'm online again! Yes! Japanese girls puke in each other's mouths. Hello, Kitty! Kawaii, <laughs> by a tiger. Get the keys, we gotta get in there. What the? Dad, Randy! Oh, uh, there was a, there was a ghost. This, this ectoplasm. Did you see the ghost? It ran through here, it, it slimed me. You son of a bitch. No, that wasn't me, that was a spooky ghost! This is our last chance. With nowhere else to turn, the government is going to allow one brave nine-year-old boy to attempt his method to get the internet running again. It all comes down to this. Can the little Jewish boy reason with the internet, or will it be gone forever? All clear for procedure. All right, let's do it. Flashing yellow light is steady green now! He did it! I've got internet! Me too! Internet activity in all sectors, sir! Yeah! I've got internet! Me too! It's back! Yeah! It's back? It's back! <laughs> it's working! I can eye chat with my darling Amir now! Shelly? Shelly Marsh? What? It's me, Amir. 
Oh, hey, your family came here too, huh? Yeah. So, uh, I guess I'll email you as soon as I get back home. Yeah, okay, sounds good. Okay, see ya. We're back together! We're back together! And so what have we learned through this ordeal? The internet went away. It came back. But for how long, we do not know. We cannot take the internet for granted any longer. We as a country must stop overlogging on. We must use the internet only when we need it. It's easy for us to think we can just use up all the internet we want. But if we don't treat the internet with the respect that it deserves, it could one day be gone forever. So let us learn to live with the internet, not for it. No more browsing for no apparent reason, no more mindlessly surfing on our laptops while watching television. And finally, we must learn to only use the internet for porn twice a day, max. Down to South Park and have myself a time. Death and sadness everywhere, loneliness and degradation. Going down to South Park, gonna take my woes with me. Nightmares every night, poser spouting, let's go shopping. Heading up to South Park, cause I cannot unwind. I was fighting love and rain, I'm only happy when I'm in pain. So I'm going down to South Park to die. To die. So I cast my body into the trials of blood. The knife pierces deep, deep into my lonely eyes, so I can see this black world no more. Whoa, that's pretty hardcore. That's real pain right there. That's how I feel when my mother abuses me. I just want to escape so she can't hurt me anymore. Henrietta, sweetie! Shut up, Mom! Go away! Oh, but remember, Daddy wanted to talk to you in the living room, my dark little princess. Stop calling me a princess. I'm not a beauty queen in a Disney movie. We'll be waiting in the living room. God, she just never stops. Oh, goodness, I am so nervous. What? Have a seat, Henrietta. Oh, a little family chit-chat. Shut up, Mom. Henrietta, as you know, your mother and I have been concerned about your behavior for some time. Are we really doing this again? We've had a hard time coping with the dark things you're into, but we finally had some counseling. And apparently, we're not the only parents who have a child that is emo. What? But Daddy and I love our little muffin, even if she's emo or not. I'm not a fucking emo. Don't you even know the fucking death? Do you know how your foul language breaks your mother's heart? Like calling Mommy demon jizz. So listen, sweetie. We've found a camp. No. A camp which is for troubled kids like you, and you get to work outside and learn about responsibility. I'm not going to any fucking camp. It's for two weeks, and when you come back, we can talk about earning back some of your privileges. I won't come back because I'll be fucking dead. I'll walk out of that camp and I'll walk the streets until I probably get picked up and gangbanged by criminals until I'm bleeding out my fucking eyes. They have a horseshoe pit where you can challenge the other kids to horseshoes. And that's all you know? What else did she say? She said that her parents called her an emo and she had to go to this camp for two weeks. Oh my god, for two weeks? Is she at the camp now? I don't know. She texted from the bus they put her on, then she said she wasn't even allowed to have her cell phone where she was going. 
Then all of a sudden her text went dark. Whoa. That's fucking creepy, man. I just can't believe it. I can't believe parents would do that to their child. All right, now, you say that you witnessed your friend being abused by her parents. Yes. They called her an emo. What's wrong with that? Emos suck! They're vile, self-pitying, depressed assholes! So why do you think they called her that? Because she's goth, and some ignorant people don't know the difference! What is the difference? Oh my god! They're totally different! Okay, different how? They're... You know, one is good, and, and emos are horrible! They're... You know, they're posers! Emos suck my goth balls. All right, all right, think of it this way. A goth believes that deep down the world is totally fucked up. But an emo thinks that deep down they are totally fucked up. That's not much of a difference. That's a huge fucking difference! Okay, okay, look. Emos are more prone to suicide. This fucking bitch, man. But goths are more prone to be depressed that so many people commit suicide. Goths' darkness is nihilistic, whereas emos is cynical. Wait, I thought we were cynical. W whatever, it doesn't matter. No, see, you're nihilistic. Oh, yeah, you're right. Hello? Somebody let me out of here! You can't treat people like this! This is fucking ridiculous! What's wrong with you? I'm gonna go to the fucking cops when I get out of here! What if she comes back, and she's all preppy and conformist? She's only been there two weeks. They can't have changed her that much. Can they have? Oh. My. God. Hey, guys. What the hell have they done to you? What do you mean? They couldn't do anything. They can't fix me. They don't even understand me! Oh my god, it's worse than we thought. They made her emo! Has she said one word to either one of you guys? Nothing. It's like she's a totally different person. She won't even look at us. All she does now is hang out with the douchebag emo kids. God, P.E. classes for such wannabe posers. I'd rather kill myself than put on gym shorts. I wish there'd just be an earthquake, so we could all die. Ugh, how can she hang out with them? There must be something else going on here. Not now, Mom! I'm suicidal! It's not your mom, it's me. Oh, uh, hey. What did they do to you, at that camp? What do you mean? Just the usual group therapy crap. Don't take this the wrong way, but I think that place turned you into an emo. That's ridiculous. I'm not anything. I don't fit in anywhere. I'm not emo, okay? Then why are you listening to Sunny Day Real Estate? I was thinking, maybe they just made you confused at that place. Maybe they didn't know what they were doing. But then I started thinking, maybe that place turned you emo on purpose. Like maybe they knew what they were doing. You should probably stop digging for answers. What? There's no winning this for you. Soon the entire world will be emo. It is our time. No way. Nobody understands us. And they won't understand until it is far too late. Oh my god, no way! Do not fight it, Michael. Is being emo really all that different from being goth? Join us! No way! No way, no way! Death and despair! Death and despair! Death and despair! Death and despair! Hello? It's worse than we thought. What is, everything? No, I mean Henrietta. I confronted her and she was all like, 
I am emo, and emos are going to rule the world. And I was like, no way. And she was like, yeah, soon it will be too late. And I was all, no way. No way. Yeah, so listen, call up Ferkel and meet me at Village Inn. I gotta run home, but I'll be there in 10 minutes. Michael, Michael. Can't now, Mom. I've got an emergency. In the dining room, Michael. Let's go. Have a seat, son. Your mom and I have decided you're going to go away for a little while. What? We've been put in touch with this camp for troubled kids like you what and- What the hell are you talking about? This place gonna fix you, make you a normal child! No, you gotta listen to me! You don't know what you're doing! You fucking conformist! <gasps> They're evil! I never thought it would end like this. I never thought that goths would just be slowly replaced by emos. Pete, if they get me, if I get sent to that camp and I come back emo, kill me. Promise that you'll kill me. I promise. Hey, you kids need to order something or you need to go. Not now, lady. We're really depressed. So what else is new? This is different, okay? Our two friends are being body snatched by emos. There's only one other group who understands emos like we do. We're gonna have to team up with the vampires. Are you crazy? What choice do we have? The vampires are our sworn enemies. We beat up their leader. We burned down their lair. Don't you remember? Yeah, I remember. And it may be a suicide mission, but we have to walk right into the middle of the vampires and ask them for help. Okay, let's all be seated, please. This is the noon meeting of the Vamp Kids. I am Mike, your Lord and Dark Master, per se. Hey, I'm Mike. Okay, uh, our main order of business is, of course, the Halloween social. We're still looking for volunteers to make the... Yes! Yes! Oh! Ah! It's the Goth Kids! Oh, you spit on me, Larry. Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, I know we aren't on the greatest terms right now. We realize we called you all queermos, and we're sorry we burned down the hot topic at the mall. Sorry. But uh, we've got a bigger problem here, and it's all of our problem. You've got a lot of nerves coming here. Yeah, shut up, Mike. Listen, okay? There's a camp that kids like us are being sent to, and somehow this place is taking kids like us and turning them emo. Yeah. You might not even be able to tell at first. It could have already happened. One of you might already be turned. Okay, hold up. Hold up. You mean that one of us might not really be a vamp kid? Uh, right. Well, whoever you is, you better get your ass ready to run, motherfucker, because you're a damn traitor. And I'll bet you is this little nigga right here. Are you guys gonna go to the Fallout Boy concert? I can't. I'm too depressed. I keep cutting myself. Yeah, I'm cutting myself to hurt this worthless body that I'm in. Henrietta! I bake cookies for your new little emo friends. Not now, Mom. Can't you see I'm hurting? I'm sorry I'm such a disappointment. Sorry I'm not the pretty cheerleader you always wanted. Does she still seem better? Oh, much better. She didn't call me a bitch, and she actually apologized to me. That's more like it. You know what we should do after us emos take over the Earth? We should, um, paint the White House black, and we should have Fallout Boy play at the Super Bowl. We're emos. When we rule the Earth, we're not gonna have football. Oh, yeah. And you say she just showed up like this? You know Henrietta. That thing in there is not Henrietta. That blind emo in there is Shira Collins. She was a fam kid two weeks ago. You want me to go in there and waste these motherfuckers? I'll do it. We can't just go in there and kick their asses. We have to stop this thing at its source. Indeed. If there is some kind of black magic at work creating these monsters, then we will have to use our most powerful vampiric abilities to stop it. Do you mean? Yes, my child of darkness. We must call upon the powers of the vamp kid's most sacred entity, per se. Only he can help us in this darkest time. This calls for a summoning. We call upon the creator of all that is dark, the godfather of death and despair. Edgar Allan Poe, your followers in darkness beg for your help. 
We summon to the world of the living the great Edgar Allan Poe, knower of all that is misery. Your children need special guidance, per se. This is your plan? Try to summon Edgar Allan Poe back from the dead? Edgar Allan Poe was the original vamp king. No, he was the original goth, but he's been dead for 150 years. Hey, look, man. All genres of gothic subcultures are derivatives of Poe's work, motherfucker. Look, we came to you for help, and all you've done since then is waste our time! Holy shit, look! Where am I? What is this place? It's him! It's Edgar Allan Poe! Why have the living summoned me from my rest? Uh, okay, okay, listen. There's this camp for troubled kids, right? Only they aren't helping kids, they're, they're purposely turning them into emos. Emos? Ew, my god, emos are such wannabe conformists. Oh, yes! Right? Children of darkness, I would help you, but I fear I cannot be seen with a bunch of douchey vamp kids and their poser-ass plastic fangs. Thank you! Hey! I'm just saying it's nice to know that Edgar Allan Poe agrees with us. Agrees with who? Is that red dye in your hair, or did a blood demon take a shit on your head, poser? Uh-uh, he got you there, nigga. Okay, look, we're running out of time. You have to help us stop the emos. Why should I? Just because you summoned me doesn't mean you're the boss of me. Uh, yeah, it kind of does. Uh, okay, Mom. Let's go fight the emos, Mom. What? Where are you taking? No! No! What the hell? Oh my god. Get me out of here! Let me go! Shh! Best you don't upset them. What the hell are you doing to people? Not me. I just work for them. They're not evil, you know. They're just misunderstood. All I do is help the emos get into their human host. They promised me when they take over Earth, I can have a cabin on the lake and all the steak I can eat. Wait a minute. Emos are plants? Shh, shh. It's okay. Not just any plant. They're very unique. Very special. Nobody understands them. Emoclaris americanus, wonderful species, except for their tendencies of self-mutilation and the need for other species to acknowledge their pain. Oh, it all makes sense now. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, Emo King. Oh, no, I wasn't talking to him. I mean, I was, but yes. Yes, I understand. Right away. No, what are you doing? I don't want to be Emo. You just don't understand. You'll understand them soon. What the? It's quicker if you don't fight it. No! No! All right, listen up. Once we find our friend, we gotta torch the place and get out. <coughs> Dude, Edgar, can you not smoke in the car? You can't tell me what to do. Who elected you the mayor of May? Put it out, Edgar. It's annoying everybody. God, you guys are so lame. And if you want my help, you better all stop calling me Edgar. But that's your name, isn't it? That's the name my stupid parents gave me. I like to be called by my goth name. Night Pain. Oh, oh God. God. What? You guys are posers. Hey, just so you all know, if one of you ain't who they say they is, and we get inside that base and you reveal you actually one of them emo motherfuckers in disguise, I will go crazy on your ass. If one of us is a traitor, it's probably your wannabe vampire leader. Oh, fuck off, Night Pain. Make me, poser. Michael, you here? I feel like we're being watched. Michael, are you okay? Kick it over! Stop the plant! Oh, oh, thank God you're here. Emos are plants and they're invading human bodies. All right, we're gonna get you out of here and then we're gonna burn this whole place down. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that's not the plan. You did very good. The emo plants are pleased with your dedication. Ferkel, all this time we thought you were goth. How long have you been emo? Don't 
Don't you see we can't stop them? We might as well join them. Yes, Emo King, right away. The Emo King wants us to proceed at once. Ah, uh, let us go, you ultimate conformists. Don't fight it. It's quicker that way. Oh, God, I'm starting to feel emo. Wait a minute. Where the hell is Edgar Allan Poe? He said he was over this and was going to hang out at the village inn. What? Hey, are you going to order any food or are you just going to sit there and drink coffee all day? Leave me alone. I just want coffee. Little prick. Bitch. Poe? Edgar Allan Poe, where are you? What the hell are you doing? You're supposed to be helping us. I can't right now. I'm dealing with a lot and I just have a lot of anxiety. Look, we summoned you to help us save the world. What's the point? Save some people so some other people can be lame, and then those lamos can be lamer to some other posers? God, he is such a downer. Ha! Huh. Just let the spores inside you. Stop fighting it. Wait, look! Okay, I'm here, posers. Night Pain, destroy the plant leader! The leader over there! What do you want me to do? Shoot it! Really? Shoot a plant? Shoot it! Wait a minute. What is this? This says it was bought at Lowe's Home and Garden for $29.95. Lowe's Home and Garden? Hey, these are just plants. No, they, they talk to me. No, they're just like ficus plants and vibrating pots. But Looks like it's over, Harold Flanagan. So we have just one question for you. Are you scared? What do you mean? Are you scared? Yes! That's good! Cause you're on, yes I was scared! What? Look, look at the camera right there. Oh my god, are you serious? Your wife Sarah put you up to this. This is a prank? Oh, man, that's good. They got us good. I turned traitor for no reason. Did you know about this? I have no idea what's going on. Howard, did you suspect at all that the gardening job at a camp for troubled teens was a setup? No, they really had me convinced. And you didn't suspect anything when we had plants tell you to turn goths and vamp kids into emos when really they're exactly the same thing? I guess I should have figured it out. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Tune in again next week when we make a woman from Milwaukee think she's working at a haunted abortion clinic. So, my friends, have you made the transformation? Uh, Henrietta, we have some bad news. The plants you think took over your body and made you emo, they're just plants. From Lowe's Home and Garden. It was all a prank by some douchey network reality show. No, there's an organic spore in my head that made me switch clicks so easily. No, you just kind of did it on your own. Oh my god. This is so embarrassing. Uh, hang on. What I meant to say was, we just infiltrated the emo layer and we torched the plant leader. Oh. Oh my god, I'm all better. Thanks, you guys. Henrietta, I have dinner ready. Shut up, Mom. Leave me alone, you conformist bag of demon jizz. Daddy. Put it out, Edgar. It's annoying everybody. God, you guys are so lame. And if you want my help, you better all stop calling me Edgar. Well, that's your name, isn't it? That's the name my stupid parents gave me. I like to be called by my goth name, Night Pain. Oh, oh God. God!
what happened to me last night. What? Tell us. So I'm watching the season premiere of Boy Meets Boy on television and then Queer Eye for the Straight Guy comes on, right? So I fall asleep in front of the TV and when I wake up, I see that I've spilled the Coke I was drinking all over my satin pajama top. Oh my gosh, are you serious? That was the cutest top ever. I know. Oh, tell me about it, Kendall. Hey, dudes. <laughs> what a dork. What? Nice jacket, Cal. Polyester is really the hot fabric this fall. <laughs> but, but this is the jacket I always wear. You gotta get with the times, girlfriend. Yeah, that jacket is so September 10th. Oh my God, you've got splotches on your neck. Are you using any exfoliating products at all? We can't let Kyle out in public like this, you guys. Don't be fool. Come on, Kyle, we're giving you a makeover. Into my life, and my world never looks so bright. Yeah, it's true, you bring out the best in me. on HBC, it's Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. We have got to get you some tighter fitting shirts. Then it's Boy Meets Boy, followed by Will and Grace, and then the Love Boat with men. My goodness, there certainly are a lot of gay shows on television these days. Yeah, I think it's great that gays are finally being so accepted. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Ah! Kyle, what's happened to you? I'm just trying to fit in, Daddy. Don't be such a drama queen. Oh my God! Come on, Sheila. We better go tell the other parents what's going on. Oh, hi, Gerald. Sheila. Hi, Sharon. Uh, we need to talk to you about the boys. Sure. Come on in. The guys are all watching TV. Oh, is the game on or something? Hey, Gerald. How are you? Gerald. Hi, Gerald. Hi. Sit down, Jer. Jer. Queer eye for the straight guy is on. Oh no! You guys all turned gay too? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not gay, Gerald. Metrosexual. What's that? Just because a guy cares about how he looks and is in touch with his feminine side doesn't mean he's gay anymore. Yeah, metrosexual means you're straight, but you appreciate the gay culture. It's super fabulous. Would you like some Shiraz? Don't our men look amazing? Haven't you seen Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, Sheila? These five gay men go around and show straight men how to better themselves. It's the best. It is? Well, sure, Sheila. Our husbands are all so clean and neat. My Randy irons his clothes and even has pedicures. And they like to talk about their feelings now and drink wine and decorate the house. My Stephen shaved his chest and his balls. Ooh, I love it. And how about our boys, huh? Ever since gay culture became cool, our boys bathe every night and brush their teeth three times a day. This is the greatest thing ever. I don't know. Sometimes boys take cultural fads too far. Dude, I can't wait for Wendy to see how gay I look. That's true, you guys. When the chicks at school see how gay we are, they're gonna be all over us. Woohoo! All right, let's work it. What the? Toodaloo, Connor. See you after classes. Okay, sweetums. Oh my God, where is my homework? I am freaking out. Hey, dudes. Hey, Craig. You guys look pretty gay. Thanks. Not as gay as us, though. Oh, please, Craig. We're ten times gayer than you. Oh, yeah? We're super duper triple dog gay. Oh yeah? We're ultra super stamp it, stamp it, Noah Racy's mega gay. What's all this fighting about, children? These guys are trying to say they're gayer than us. Ah, oh, no. Don't tell me you children have taken up this whole metrosexual fad, too. Oh my god, this is not a fad, this is who we are. No, it isn't. Last year you children all trying to be black, now you're all trying to be gay. We're metrosexual. Maybe, but you'll never be as metrosexual as us. Come on, fags. God, I hate Craig. That son of a Chef, I don't feel very metrosexual. Well, then don't buy into this fad, Kyle. Be who you are, not what's cool. All right, children, let's take our seats. Good morning, Mr. Garrison. Well, d don't you all look nice? Ooh, damn it. Dude, what are you doing? I didn't feel comfortable in that stuff, dude. I'm just being me. Told you you guys were straight. We're not straight, you're straight. Yeah, you're straight. straight. You're straight like a freeway. What the hell is going on? You wish you were gay, Craig. In your dreams. I'm not just gay, I'm a catabite. So, I'm half bisexual. 
homosexual. Oh, stop it. You kids don't even know what you're talking about. Eric, you're not half bi. I'm not a quarter bi. My grandpa was bi, so that makes me quarter bi. What? It was the craziest thing I've ever seen, Mr. Slave. All the children were suddenly acting like being gay was cool. I mean, maybe we're not the only gay couple in town anymore. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at that, Mr. Slave. Our cup runneth over. Jesus Christ. Mr. Garrison, those are great pants. Thanks, Jimbo. I really like your outfit, too. So, so Jimbo, you want to come back to my place with me and Mr. Slave? Uh, for what? Well, you know. No. Huh. Mr. Garrison. Hey, doll. Oh, hey, Randy. You're looking ultra fabulous. Well, thanks, you too. So, uh, Randy, you want me to give you a hand job in the bathroom? <laughs> no, no, thanks. I'm, I'm not like that. Not, not like that. How about some Shiraz, guys? Uh, oh, thanks, Mr. Twig. My pleasure, silly buns. Oh, uh, well, uh, Mr. Tweak, why don't we uh, go back to my place? Why? Well, you know, I was just thinking we could put on some music and watch videos and pound Mr. Slave's tight little ass. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Oh, goodness, no, I I'm straight. Straight? Oh, oh, what? Just what the hell is going on here? Uh -huh. Why won't anybody pound Mr. Slave's butt? Well, we don't pound butt, Mr. Garrison. We're straight. Those pants and those shoes say you pound butt. Hey, now that's not true. My shoes don't say I pound butt. No, your shoes say you take it in the butt. It's okay, Mr. Garrison. We've learned that gays are totally cool. You're just one of us now. Yeah. yeah. One of you? We spent our whole lives trying not to be one of you. You can't do this to us. Have you guys seen this? It's a conditioner that you can leave in, and it detoxifies the scalp. Wow, is that from Origins? Yeah, it's a charcoal-based thing that... Hey, guys, you want to go throw the football around? Guys, can I talk to you over here for a second? Look, guys, a lot of the kids in school are talking, okay? And they're spreading rumors that we're not metrosexuals because we hang out with Cap. Well, what can we do about it? We have no choice, you guys. We're just gonna have to kill Cap. What? That's stupid! We wouldn't have to kill Kyle. We would just have to tell him not to hang around us anymore. Oh, you know, you're right, Stan. We just have to tell Kyle not to hang around us anymore. Yeah. Wait, what? You hear that, Kenny? Stan thinks we should tell Kyle not to hang around us anymore. I think he's right. Good luck telling him, Stan. I know it won't be easy. Hey, butch boy. Nice football you got there. <laughs> when was the last time you had a manicure, straight man? Yeah, let's see that hair. Look, he's not even using any product. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Oh, here come the butch boys to help their butchy little friend. He's not our friend. Stan? This playground is for metrosexuals, Macho Man. Take your dog flaming ass to some other school. Come on, let's get it. Get it kick it Kyle! What happened to you? I got beat up at school for being different. What? Your classmates beat you up for being a Jew? No! For not being a metrosexual. Gerald! Gerald, get down here! Here I come! Oh no! Dad's metrosexual too? Kyle! You look terrible! The boys at school beat him up, Gerald! Oh really? Well, don't you worry, Kyle. We can cover that black eye up with some cream base, and the coat and pants will bleach with an acid wash for a fun vintage look. Ah! Just leave me alone! There you go. Now you look fabulous. You see that? A spray on tan does wonders for your look. Grrr! Now let's get down to the tango class and learn some new steps. That does it! I know what I have to do. Oh, hello, Mr. Garrison. Chef, can I talk to you? Sure. Come on in. Thanks. Come, slave. It's just awful, Chef. I used to feel like an outsider, a totally different person who stood out in this town. Now every straight guy is acting gayer than me. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Chef, what did you do when white people stole your culture? Oh, well, we black people just always try to stay out in front of them. How did you do that? Well, like without slang. 
black people always used to say, I'm in the house instead of I'm here. But then white people all started to say in the house, so we switched it to into his house. His house became his his house, and then white folks started saying that, and we had to change it to his a. Then into his a, which we had to change to his for zizzle. And now because white people say his for zizzle, we have to say flippity floppity flu. We don't have time for all that, chef. Oh, if only those queer eye for the straight guy people understood what they were doing. Wait, that's it. I know exactly what to do. Come on, Mr. Slave, let's get back to our flippity floppity flu. Oh, no! Damn it, don't call it that! One ticket to New York, please. You're going to New York alone? I'm going to see the Queer Eye for the Straight Guy people. Ooh, great idea. They can help you with those dated clothes. Mr. Garrison? Kyle, what are you doing here? I'm going to New York to kill the Queer Eye for the Straight Guy people. What? That's what I'm doing! Oh no, they ruined my life. I gotta kill them first. They took gay culture from real gays and their asses are ours! I thought of it first! No, you didn't! No, you didn't! Did so! Did so! I thought of it yesterday! I thought of it two days ago! I thought of it before you were born! Stop it, you two! Stop it! Don't you see how crazy this is? Oh, you're right, Mr. Slave. We can both kill them together! Cool. Wow, we look great! Yeah, let's see Craig out gay us now. Boys, boys, come on! There's a sale down in Express for Men! Hey guys, there's a sale in Express for Men! Oh sale my god! Go, go, go. You guys have got to see these shoes I bought! Hurry, you guys! The mall closes in seven hours! Oh, why can't we all live at the mall? You know, I'm starting to think this whole metrosexual thing isn't so great. I know what you mean. All my husband ever does now is look at himself in the mirror. He cares more about how he looks than how I look. I hope something happens soon to put an end to this whole fad. Guys, you've done a terrific job. Queer Eye for the Straight Guy is our number one show. <laughs> what can I say? We're fabulous. You guys are changing the world. And tomorrow, we're going to have you make over the President of the United States. Oh my god, I think I'm going to faint. Room service. What? We didn't order any room service. Oh, well, the woman at the front desk sent it up. Uh, Carol? Go off to check on this. Excuse me a minute, fellas. Clear! Okay, Mr. Slive. Uh, just cries. Well, crap, that didn't work. Shut up, Craig. Everyone knows it's true. It is not. Well, so. Craig, behave yourself. Yeah, Stanley, what are you fighting about? Dad, Craig's trying to say that his dad can outdress you. What? Son, that's a silly thing to fight about. Yeah, everyone already knows I dress better than Randy. Oh, really? I mean, you do have the fashion sense of a Japanese woman. Oh! Please, girlfriend, you look like some kind of little orphan Annie nightmare. Oh, oh no, oh, man. man! Oh, stop it! Will you all just stop? Look, you guys are carrying this fad too far. Will you please stop acting this way? You don't like us being metrosexual? No! Well, you know what I think? I think you're all metrophobic! Yeah! yeah! What? We shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves. We should be uniting against metrophobes like these. This is crazy! Crazy, different, outcasts, call us what you want. But us metros are real people just like you. You can metro bash us all you want, but we're here to stay. Yeah, Bob. We're proud of who we are. That's right. Proud. You know what I think, guys? I think we should have a metrosexual pride parade. Great idea, Eric. Raise metrosexual awareness. We can make floats and decorate them with streamers and flowers. Woohoo! Come on, fellas. Out of the malls and into the streets. Out of the malls and into the streets. Out of the malls and into the streets. What the hell did that show do to them? You sure you don't want to press charges? That's okay, officer. I think they learned murder is wrong. Especially in those pants. Look, guys, we're sorry we tried to murder you, but you have to stop what you're doing. Are you crazy? We're the hottest thing on TV. But don't you see the price? You're selling out your own kind. Look, us gays have created a lifestyle, a, a culture that is uniquely ours. If we keep trying to make straight people into us, well, we're going to have no identity left. 
Sorry, Charlie, no sale. But, but, this doesn't make sense. How can gay men do this to their own people? Unless you're not gay at all. You just had to push it, didn't you? Just had to keep asking questions. Now you know the truth. They aren't gay? Then what are they? For a thousand years, our kind have lived beneath the Earth's crust, banished by man in the Kindling Wars. Oh my god. We are the Crab People! Jesus Christ! Crab people, crab people, crab people, crab people. Crab people, crab people, crab people. See now where we have been forced to live for a thousand years. But soon we shall rule the land above. If you can't beat man, change man. I knew it. I knew gay people would never do this to their own kind. When all the world is metrosexual, the crab people shall finally reign supreme. Crab people, crab people, taste like crab, talk like people, crab people. You'll never turn me into a metrosexual. I like being a dirty, filthy little boy. Very well. If we can't make you into metrosexuals, then we will make you into crab people. Take that! I'm standing in South Park, Colorado, where the first annual Metrosexual Pride Parade is underway. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Metro Pride! We're here! We're not queer, but we're close! Get used to it! We're here! We're not queer, but we're close! Get used to it! That does it! I can't take it anymore! I should have never wished for a cleaner, neater husband. Ladies, get your things. I know what we have to do. Whoa, look out! Oh my god, it's on fire! Put it out, put it out! I can't do anything, these are brand new pants. The heat could really damage our hair. We better let the police handle this. Are you crazy? I just had my uniform pressed. Oh, Jesus, it's burning! Oh my god! Put it out, put it out! Put it out! Fire! Mr. President, it is such an honor to make you over. Now, we've got to do something with your hair. And your nails are filthy. Let's get those clean. This is gay gold! Stop them! They're crab people! They cannot see or hear us, foolish man. Now stand by and watch as your pitiful race becomes helpless! That is very good, Mr. President. Now put on this silk jacket. No, Mr. President! Don't do it! <laughs> you bastards! That looks great! Now how about some moisturizer? There they are! Get them! What? You turned our husbands into whiny little wusses! It's payback time! Yeah! Oh my god, what are they doing? What, what have you done? We're sorry, but we didn't have a choice. You see, at first we liked having our men be clean and neat. We thought that having them use product in their hair and wanting facials would make them sexier. But it doesn't. That's right. Even though my Steven sicks me out sometimes, it's his rugged, manly grossness that I'm attracted to. We're sorry, but we knew that the only answer was to kill the Queer Eye guys. Well, you're going to jail for the... Wait a minute. What is that? No, our evil plans. No. Oh my god. They were crab people. Yes! 
They were trying to systematically make men into wusses so they could take over the world. Mom! Kyle! I should have known they were crab people. They tried this before with the Jeffersons. So now can you please change your network's programming? Yes. Yes, I think this gay fad is over. Gentlemen, back to Studio 12. We're gonna bring back the Latin fad. Hey, is this? Hey, Hefe. You want some cerveza? Kyle! Hey, I say, you wanna come play catch with us? What? Y you want me to hang out with you? Yeah, it's cool, Holmes. No, dude, it really isn't cool. You all turned your backs on me. You're supposed to be my best friends and you just you treated me like nothing. And now you all expect me to just forget it all and, and hang out with you again like nothing happened? Oh, Jesus, Kyle, don't be such a whiny little gay wad. Come play catch with us. Yeah, don't be such a fag, dude. God damn it. Going down to south, I'm gonna have myself a time. Friendly faces everywhere, humble folks without temptation. Going down south, I'm gonna leave my woes behind. Am I parking day or night? People spouting hallelujah. Heading on up south, I'm gonna see if I can't unwind. Come on down south, I can meet some friends of mine. Friends! We gather in this place to mourn the victims of yesterday's tragedy. Nine good people who were run over in the street by an elderly woman driver. Ah, oh, God, the memorial services are so boring. You insensitive asshole, Carmen. Nine people died. Yeah, but like eight of them were hippies. Mostly hippies go to farmer's markets. Mostly. It is sometimes hard in times like these to understand God's way. Why would he allow nine innocent people to be run down in the prime of their lives by a senior citizen who perhaps shouldn't be driving. It is then that we must understand God's sense of humor is very different from our own. He does not laugh at the simple man walks into a bar joke. No, God needs complex irony and subtle farcical twists that seem macabre to you and me. All that we can hope for is that God got his good laugh and a tragedy such as this will never happen again. Look out! Was that a stop sign back there? I think I hit a pothole. Hey, Dad, how come they let old people drive? Well, Stan, it's a very fragile issue. But they kill people. Sometimes, yes, but senior citizens have to be dealt with very gingerly, Stan. We can't just take their licenses away. I'll be goddamned if they think they can take my license away. Oh, hi, Dad. I heard what you said. You want to take driving privileges away from seniors. Well, let me tell you something, Peckerface. I worked 55 years in a steel mill. Yes, Dad. And I flew Spitfires over Germany in World War II. Yes, I know. And I will be goddamned if the government thinks it can step in and take away my right to drive. I think old people should have rights, Grandpa. I just don't want to die. Damn it, Mona, this isn't the fastest way to country kitchen buffet. No, but it's the shortest. Save the most gas that way. You save more gas if you take the highway to country kitchen buffet. Less miles means less gas, you fool. There's country kitchen right there. Where? Back there, you're gonna miss me, dude! Is this the parking lot? 
I think so. Another death tonight by a senior citizen motorist. Carl Zorn of Pine Junction was killed instantly when struck by a vehicle driven by Pete and Lydia Malman, who were trying to find Country Kitchen Buffet. This latest tragedy comes only two days after the accident in Deer Creek, where three construction workers and a bulldozer were run down by senior citizen Paul Toff, who was trying to find Country Kitchen Buffet. Public outcry is forcing the DMV to consider suspending the licenses of all seniors over 70, though no decision has yet to be made. Seniors of South Park, I don't know about you, but I am mad as hell. Yeah. Yeah. I am sick of having my mental condition come into question. Yeah. We need to let everyone know we're pissed off and we're not gonna take it anymore. Here, here. That's right, Pete. That's right. Now, can anybody remember what we're pissed off about? I remember we're all pissed about something, and that's why we had this meeting, but I can't for the life of me. Ooh, was it the kids skateboarding on the sidewalks? Ew. Oh, I remember. They're going to take our licenses away. Yeah, right. That's right, they're going to try to take our licenses away. And I, for one, am mad as hell. Me yeah, too. that's right. I'm mad too. I am sick of having my mental condition come into question. So now, what are we going to do about it? Do about what? They're going to take our licenses away. They are? They can't do that. That's right. That's, right. That's right. So you know what I think we should do? I think we should have a senior citizens meeting. Get all the seniors together at the community center and unite. Great idea, Marvin. Wait, I, I think we're having that meeting right now. Oh, right. This is the meeting. Right. To get them damn kids to stop skateboarding on the sidewalks. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. That's right. right. We gotta stop them. Sharon, have you seen Dad? He's not here, hon. He's having a meeting with all the seniors in town at the community center. Oh. Wait a minute. If all the seniors in town are at a meeting, that means that when the meeting gets out... Every senior in town will be driving home... At the same time time. Oh my god. Get inside! Get inside! Seniors meeting getting out! Get off the street! Ah! All right, great meeting, everyone. Let's do it again sometime. So long, everybody. Goodbye, Lucy. See you later. Get off the streets! Get off the streets! Old people are driving! Run! Run! Oh my God! Run! Gerald, where are the boys? We've got to get out of here! The boys, Gerald, where are they? They're, they're playing street hockey! Oh my God! With just 10 seconds to go, the offense makes its move. Marsh heads for the goal and passes the ball to the poor kid. The poor kid hands it off to the Jew. The Jew shoots. Oh, and the shot is blocked again, proving once and for all that Jews cannot play hockey. It isn't fair. Carmen's fatter than the goal. I'm not fat. I just have a sweet hockey body. Get off the street! Get off the street! Dude, look. What is that? I don't know. Get off! Get shit off the street! Dude, is that your dad? I think so. Looks like Stan's dad's been hitting the bottle again. Streets! What is he saying? I can't understand him. Ah! Calm down. We cannot understand you. Ah! Ah! Oh, Jesus! Old people! Come on! Ah! Oh, God, coming. Ah! Hey! Get over there. Stay low. Why are they all out driving at the same time? Shh! It's okay, boys. They're gone. 
Let's just lay low for a minute until we can find- ah! I don't remember there being a building here. Run! Ah! I told you to turn left, Larry. Get up the stairs, up the stairs! Come on, come on! Ah, there's another one! Ah! Excuse me, is this Costello Avenue? In here! Ah! They're not gonna stop until we're all dead! Quiet, keep quiet! Dad, I'm scared. Just keep your voices down. We'll stay the night in here. We'll stay the whole winter if we have to. I'm not staying the winter in this room. You just need to tell old people they can't drive anymore. Oh, Stan, it's not that simple. Just relax while I find the lights. Here we go. Well, the hell did we get up here? Ah! I told you this was the wrong way. Tom, I'm standing outside of the Department of Motor Vehicles, where senior citizens have until 3 p.m. to hand over their driver's licenses. The new law was passed just three days after the Night of Horror, in which all seniors were out driving at the same time, causing 14 deaths and $3 million in damage. Alrighty, there we go. Next. It ain't right what you're doing. I never had an accident in my life. That's right, you shouldn't punish all of us. We're sorry, but this is the only way to be sure. Next, please. There we go. But how am I supposed to get to the grocery store or the pharmacy to buy medicine? Well, maybe you should be in a nursing home, hmm? Some of us would rather die. Well, we can certainly help you with that, too. We aren't second-class citizens. That's right, you can take our licenses, but you'll never take our pride. <sighs> oh, isn't this great, you guys? Being able to walk the streets now that old people are confined to their homes where they belong? Billy, get in the car. I need you boys to help me pick up my new hover round. Uh, Grandpa, I don't think you're supposed to be driving. God damn it, Billy. You're supposed to listen to your dad, right? Well, I'm your dad's dad, and that means you get in this car before I tan all your hides. Well, look at it this way. Statistically speaking, we're safer inside a car with an old person driving than outside. My God, he's right. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. I shall not want to value death. <laughs> guys, I don't know if I ever told you this, but, well, I love you guys. Except for you, Cal. Okay, all set. I think there's a police car behind you, Grandpa. Eh. Go around! Go around, you moron! Blue Impala, pull your vehicle over! I believe that's us, thank God. Could I see your license, please? I ain't got one, you peckers took it! Well, then I have to take you to jail. You just try taking me to jail, scrotum head! You just try! Stupid son of a... God damn it. I've just got him right here, Mr. Marsh. Oh, brother. Well, good job, Dad. Look at you now. Oh, God damn it. Don't you lecture me, you son of a bitch. You just had to be so damn stubborn, didn't you? Now my son is going to talk to me like I'm 12. We're not treating you like children, Dad, all right? Now, I think you owe Mr. Police Officer an apology. Who needs to apologize, hmm? Who's a sorry sorry? Kiss my sagging ass! Well, fine. I was gonna bail you out, but maybe you can just sit here for a bit and think about what you did. Well, I won't be sitting here long. I've already called the AARP. What's that? The American Association of Retired Persons. The largest political group in the country. When seniors like me are being discriminated against, the AARP comes and sets it right. And you're gonna be sorry when they get here. And so you see, children, Genghis Khan was a Mongol. Not to be confused with a mongoloid like the actor Nicolas Cage. Okay, now, who can tell me in what year the first film by the mongoloid? That's odd. Those ROTC guys are way off course. More 
Bug people! The American Association of Retired Persons. Stay in your seats, children. I'll be right back. Shut up a perimeter. Bring Bravo Team to Point Delta. Bravo Team is go. Move, move, move. Let's go, let's go. Uh, can I help you folks find something? No! All people have gone mad! Marvin Marsh? Yes? I'm Bill Stewart, president of the AARP. We've come to help the seniors in this town fight back. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Bill. Huh? We came as fast as we could. We just had to stop by Country Kitchen Buffet first. It's the nursing home. Liberate our comrades. Let's go! Get out of there! There now, Mr. Johnson. We can go to the cafeteria and get you some nice cream corn and toast. Can I help you? Help this! Oh, the revolution is on, brother! We're taking control of the town! Well, it's about damn time! Hey, everyone, we're taking the town! All right. Oh, hey. Seniors, we're taking the town over! The revolution is on! Oh, the revolution? Oh, I better get my other sweater. Mrs. Ryland, seniors are taking over the town. Would you like a gun? Oh, I suppose so. What the hell is going on? Shut your pie hole and get over there! Randy, what is this? Hey! You are now under the authority of the AARP! Ha! There you go, Mr. Smartmouth! Look at you now! Dad, what are you doing? The AARP is gonna help us take this town until we get our licenses back! Yeah, and we're gonna ask for more money in Medicare, too! That's right, yeah! Have you all got Alzheimer's? <laughs> They're not going to listen to a bunch of whacked-out senior citizens. Huh? We'll tell them if they don't give us our demands, we'll start killing hostages! <laughs> right. They're going to really believe that. Ah! Isn't that a little extreme, Bill? Huh? No, we gotta be tough. Just like with those damn Japs. This is insane, Dad. You all need to stop right now before more people get hurt. The time when you can tell me what to do is over, Bucky boy. We're in charge now. All right, we've got control of the mayor's office and the fire station. Reinforcements have arrived from the nursing home in Conifer. Good! Hell, us senior citizens could take over the entire country! We've got company! Attention, seniors. Lay down your weapons and turn yourselves over. Mrs. Applegate, show them we mean business. All right. <laughs> What do you want? Huh? We want our licenses back! Yeah. That's right, and we want more money in Medicare! Yeah. And we want those damn kids to stop skateboarding on the sidewalks! Yeah. 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 <coughs> hey, Dad. Stan, boys, you're safe. Dad, why is everyone letting the old people do this? Why doesn't somebody stop them? They've tried to stop them, son, but the seniors get up so early in the morning, they get everything done before everyone else is even awake. They're saying something about taking over the whole country. Yes. And now seeing how early they get up, I don't see how anyone can stop them. Wait a minute. You boys. You get up almost as early as they do. You can fight them. No, oh, come on, Dad. Can't you guys do it? No, son. We like to sleep in. Two hostages come front and center. They're coming. 
Get out of here before they see you. Run to the hills and find a way to fight them. Go! Boys, avenge me! Avenge me! All right, check it out. Kenny did reconnaissance on the town. The old people have blockades here and here. Old ladies are keeping watch in towers around the perimeter. The leaders, along with my grandpa, are most likely in the mayor's office. So our only solution is to cut off their life force. We can't fight them, Cartman. No, but we can sneak into town and shut down their food supply. Here. Country Kitchen Buffet? Yeah. You take out Country Kitchen Buffet and old people won't know what to do. That's a retarded idea, Cartman. Is it? Two years ago they closed the Country Kitchen Buffet in Steamboat Springs, and all the old people died of starvation in less than a week. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. <laughs> Even if it could work, how would we go about shutting it down? I think I have a plan, but we'll have to do it tonight. We'll start by sneaking into town, cleverly disguised as black people. At 5.45, Kenny and Kyle split off and set a diversion on the east side of town. Meanwhile, Stan and I sneak into the mayor's office and steal some of the explosives the old people have stashed. 9 o'clock, we rendezvous at the country kitchen buffet, where we strap the explosives and the timer to Kyle's chest. We say our tearful goodbyes to Kyle, and then we send him inside. Yeah! All right! Woo! I did it! Yeah, or we just go to Country Kitchen Buffet and lock it from the inside so the seniors can't get in. Well, right, or we do, do that. All right, everyone, round up your ammunition and get ready to move. We're taking this war further out. All right! Let's go! Bob, uh, I appreciate what the AARP is trying to do for us, but uh, all we want is our licenses back. Huh? Heck no! This is going too well. We're gonna take the whole country back. Wipe out everyone below the age of 65. Wipe them out? What are you, senile? Come on, everyone. It's time to plan phase two. What the heck? Huh? What is this? It's 6 a.m. Country Kitchen should be open. It's not open? H has to be. Try a window. They're blocked from the inside. No. Let us in! Let us in! Open the door! It's 6 a.m. It's 6 a.m. Open the country kitchen! You have to let us in! All right, everyone. Area secure. Collect their weapons and free the hostages. That was a great strategy, boys. You may very well have saved this entire country. Oh, what happened? Is it over? Everything is fine. Control of the town is back to you folks. Country kitchen? What, what happened? Sir, what should we do with this one? It's up to the townspeople. Well, I think he learned his lesson, huh? Don't you feel silly now, Dad? I think somebody owes us all an apology. Yes, he does. Oh, stop it, Dad. This is partly your fault. Huh? Look, all Grandpa wants is not to be talked to like a child. I think half of what he's angry about wasn't what you were doing, but how you were doing it. That's right. And Grandpa, you should be proud that you made it through life to be a senior, but you should also realize that when you get behind the wheel, you're a killing machine. I know. I guess sometimes us seniors need to know when to stop driving so we don't put the responsibility on our families. Well, I think this has been a real learning experience for the Marsh family. People died, but we all grew a little. Let's just go home. Sure, I'll drive. <laughs> That's our grandpa. <laughs> Dude, I hate my family. I'm going down south, I'm gonna have myself a time. Friendly face. I'm gonna leave my woes behind. And my parking day or night, people spouting holly lemon. And on up south, I'm gonna see if I can't unwind. Come on down south, I can meet some friends of mine. Dude, I wonder where Kyle is. Maybe he caught a disease and died. That'd be so awesome. Dude, that's not funny. You shouldn't joke about that. Yeah. Who's joking? You guys! news. You have AIDS? No. This Saturday for my birthday, my mom says she's taking me to Casa Bonita in Denver, and I get to invite three friends. 
Wow, Casa Bonita? Woo hoo! What's Casa Bonita? Dude, haven't you ever been there? It's a big Mexican restaurant, but they have like cliff jumpers and Black Bart's Cave and all kinds of stuff. It's like the Disneyland of Mexican restaurants. This Saturday, awesome! Casa Bonita, Casa Bonita. Food and fun and a festive atmosphere. Casa Bonita. Who said I'm inviting you? You, your mom said you could take three friends. Yes, three friends. You're not my friend. Well, come on, Kyle. Who the hell else are you going to take besides Dan and Kenny? I'm going to take Butters. He invited me to his birthday party last month, so I owe him one. Butters? You're going to take that butthole? Why? Because Butters isn't a total dick to me. I have never been a dick to you. Oh, please. All you ever do is call me names and rip on me for being Jewish. Kyle, when have I ever ripped on you for being a Jew? Oh, yeah? Well, you're a stupid Jew. You're a Jew. Such a goddamn Jew, man. Good job, Jew. Jew. Shut you! You're Jewish! Dude, he's Jewish. Jew! 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 I told you Jewish people don't have rhythm. Fuck off, Cartman! Okay, except maybe for that one time. You've always been a dick to me, Cartman, and I'm not inviting you. Kyle, you don't understand. Casa Bonita is my most favorite place in the whole world. I'll just, I'll just die if you don't take me, please! Sorry, my mind's made up. Well, fuck you, Kyle! I don't want to go to your faggy birthday party anyway. I'd rather hang out at home than have to be around you and your Jew mom for a day. Kiss my balls, asshole! Dude, I totally didn't mean that, Kyle. I, I really, really want to go to Casa Bonita. I'm sorry we had that fight just now. You know, I mean, I said some things, you said some things, but I think it was good and we've, we've moved past it. I'm not inviting you to Casa Bonita. Well, fuck you, Kyle! I hope you die! I hope you fucking die! <laughs> Casa Bonita, come on, you guys! Oh, awesome! Come on, you guys, Black Bart's Cave! Wow, cliff divers! More soap appears, please! I'm not inviting you, Carmen. You can't go. No! No! No, Casa Bonita, no! Damn it, I have to get invited to go. I'm just gonna have to start being nice to Kyle. Hi, Kyle. That isn't it, Cartman. What isn't it? That's not being nice. That's just putting on a nice sweater. I don't understand the difference. I know you don't. Jimmy! Hey, Jimmy, wait up! Dude, I need your advice on something. Well, sure, Eric. What seems to be the problem? Well, everybody likes you, Jimmy, and you seem to be really good with people, so I was wondering if you could tell me, how do you act nice to people? Well, the best thing is not to act nice, Eric. The best thing is to be genuinely nice. Okay, so how do you act genuinely nice to people? Well, Eric, p part of being nice is just making people smile and laugh. The best way to do that is by telling a fantastic joke or a humorous anecdote. Like what? Well, like try this one off for stories. Knock, knock. Who's there? Igmar Bergman. Now you say, Igmar Bergman who? Uh, take that, Jimmy! And that! And don't you ever talk bad about Kyle again! Kyle is my friend! And if you say you had sex with his mom one more time, I'm gonna really let you have it. You hear me? Oh, Kyle. Hey. You really think that beating up a handicapped kid is being nice? Uh, hey, Kyle! Knock, knock. Knock, knock, huh? Yeah, Casa Bonita this Saturday. Well, that's gonna be so fun. Yeah, it'll be awesome. Just the four of us. Ooh. Hey, Kyle. Well? Well what? How are you going to try to get invited to Casa Bonita this time? I'm not, Kyle. I know you already told Butters he could go. Oh, well, yeah, I, I did. So, fine, Kyle, but honestly, I never meant to make you feel like you didn't matter at all to me. I know we argue all the time, and I give you tons of crap, but we've also been through a, a lot together, and maybe that alone doesn't make us friends, but it makes us something. So, whatever, you know, just, I, I hope things can be cool. I'm still not inviting you to Casa Bonita. I know, Kyle. i see you later. Hey, Cartman, you really don't care that you can't go? I care, sure, but I hope it doesn't mean you and me and Stan and Kenny can't hang out anymore. 
that's exactly what I wanted to hear from you all along. I, I still have to take Butters, but I hope things can be cool, too. Good. And, and hey, if, if for some reason Butters can't go to Casmonita, you can take his place. Sweet, whatever. Bingo. What's this all about, Eric? Butters, can you keep a secret? Well, sure I can. For the past five days, I've been looking out into space for a school project. This morning at 3.45 a.m., I caught first sight of something terrible. How terrible? A meteor. A meteor the size of Wyoming, heading right for Earth. What? Now look, I could be wrong. I pray that I'm wrong, but I just want you to take a look and see what you think. Do you see anything? I just see stars. Keep looking. Sometimes it takes your eyes a minute to adjust. No, but I don't see it. Whoa, wait. Oh my god. I see it. I see it. It's a meteor. Oh my god. Oh my god. Does it look like it's getting closer? It is. It is getting closer. Oh my god. Oh my god. That meteor is the size of Wyoming and it's on a collision course for Earth. When do you think it'll get here? I, I don't know. I have to do some calculations. 10 to the power of 1 base 9 divided by pi plus 5 minus 3. Oh, Jesus. What? According to my calculations, that meteor is going to hit Earth in less than four hours. Oh, you mean we're going to die? No, no, Butters, we are going to live. Do you hear me? We are going to live. We just, we've got to find a bomb shelter. Uh, where is there a bomb shelter? Stan's Uncle Jimbo. He has a bomb shelter in his backyard. Come on, Butters, hurry. Uh, here we go. Oh, bomb shelter's down here. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. All right, we should be safe in here. There's dried food and water to last us for weeks. But what about everyone else? I have to tell my parents so they can come here too. No, Butters, I can't let you risk it. I'll go up and get the others. Are you sure? I'm not sure of anything anymore. Now, Butters, listen. No matter what happens, no matter what you hear, do not come out. If I don't make it back in time with the others, then it will be up to you to repopulate the Earth. But I'm the only one down here. What am I supposed to repopulate with? Well, you know, with your wiener. Just stay down here until you hear word from me. And pray, Butters. Pray for all mankind. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where is Butters? We were supposed to leave 40 minutes ago. Well, I think we better just go without him, Kyle. It's getting late. Yeah, screw him. Let's go. Oh, finally. Happy birthday, Kyle. I just wanted to stop by and give you your present. Oh, thanks, dude. Hope you have a good one. See you later. Oh, wait, Cartman. Yes? But Butters didn't show. You want to go to Casa Bonita with us? Butters didn't show? I can't believe it. Are, are you sure you told him the right time and everything? I told him 5.30 and we got to get going. You in? Well, I really would need to go home first and get my... But no, no, I guess I have everything I need. O okay, sure. All right, let's go. Okay, boys, get in the car. Casa Bonita, here we come. Casa Bonita. Oh, hello, Casa Chris, Bonita. Linda. Hello, everyone. Have any of you seen our son? Butters was supposed to go with us to Casa Bonita tonight. We know, but he hasn't been home since last night. The police have been looking everywhere, but... Well, thank you. But please let us know if you find out anything. Oh, Butters! Oh, dude, weak. Yeah, man, that sucks about Butters. Well, let's get going, shall we? Nah. Dude, I, I can't go to have a birthday party while Butters is missing. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, I, I think you're right, but on the other hand, I think Butters would want us to go. You know Butters. Nah, I can't. We should help look for him. Yeah. That's very good of you boys. We can postpone Casa Bonita until next Saturday. Next Saturday? I'll never be able to keep Butters down in the... in the depths of my heart for that long. I sure hope he turns up before then. Dude, we should check over at Stark's Pond. Butters always hangs out over there. Yeah, and then we can try the football field. I'll drive you boys. Oh, God damn it! How am I gonna keep Butters down in that bomb shelter for a whole week? All right, folks, this is the little boy we're looking for. Leopold Stotch, also known as Butters. He's been missing for two days and was last seen at the school. Let's go find him. Dried food rations. Add water to beef flavored square. Hello? Hello? Butters! Ah! Butters! Oh, God, it was... It was horrible. What, what, what happened? The meteor struck the earth sooner than I predicted. Uh, there was no time. No time. What about my parents? Did you see them? There was mass confusion, panic. People were crawling all over each other in the streets. It was awful. Then it hit. Millions were evaporated instantly. The rest of us 
walking around in a cloud of toxic radiation. <coughs> oh my god, let me see. No, Butters. If you come up, you'll get infected too. You best wait for the radiation levels to go down. Probably next week sometime. After Saturday. Uh, How many survivors are there? You should all come down here. We can't come down there or else we'll contaminate you, Butters. No. Just have to survive the best we can. Wow. Lyric, well, I can never thank you enough for everything you've done for me. Thank me by living, Butters. Live and rebuild. <coughs> I've got to go. Remember, wait one week for the toxic levels to go down after Saturday. G goodbye. All right, just six days, Butters. Sit tight. Tom, it has now been three days since the Stotts child has gone missing. Townspeople continue to search, but hope is dwindling. All right, folks, I want to thank you for all your efforts. Three days is a long time, but we've got to keep going if we're going to find him. <laughs> You're not going to find him. Not until after Saturday when I finally go to Casa Bonita. Many times in cases like these, a child can trap themselves. It's important that we spread our search to duck pipes, wells, and bomb shelters. What? what, what? I say we need to move the search to ducks, wells, and bomb shelters. Let's move out, people. Every second counts. <laughs> but if you leave it out, you take away the biggest part of me. Ooh, girl, baby, please don't go. Eric? Eric, is that you? Oh, God! They're coming! They're coming! We've got to get out of here! They're coming this way! Who's coming this way? The cannibals! Don't you know? The meteor destroyed our society, but it's now Earth is ruled by packs of wild humans gone mad! Those of us who survived are now being hunted by flesh-starved cannibals! Oh, God! I hate cannibals! They're coming this way! I can hear them! They'll find you down here for sure, and when they do, they'll eat you alive! No! we got to get you out of here! Come on! Oh, oh, no, wait, I forgot! The toxic radiation! Hey, wait, we can use this box! There we go, that should keep you protected from the toxins. But I can't see nothing. Believe me, Butters, you don't want to see what's up there. Now, come on, I'll guide you to a safer location. There you go, two more steps and you're at the top. Good. Are we out in the destruction? Yes, there's nothing but smoldering bodies all around you. Burnt out buildings and what used to be our town. Oh, man. All right, this way, Butters, just follow the sound of my voice. Right now, we're walking by what used to be people's houses. Now just smoldering burnt piles of rubble. Oh. Oh, it's terrible. We're coming now to the crater where the meteor hit. A hole in the earth over two miles in diameter. Whoa. Here we are at the old gas station. It survived a lot of the impact. We might be safe here. Run, 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 run. Oh, my God! What? It's a cannibal! Stay back, cannibal! Run, 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 run. Ah. I've got to fight them off! Stay away from Butters, he's humanity's last hope! Ah! He bit me! He bit off my hand! Oh god, he's eating my hand like a piece of chicken! Can you hear the bones crack? Wait, look here! There's a dead body with an axe in the back! I'll pull out the axe and use it to cut off the cannibal's head! Die! Ooh, what happened? What happened? The cannibal... The cannibal's dead, Butters. But he bit me. Which means soon I will have a thirst for human flesh as well. Oh, no! We have no choice, Butters. We have to lock you away somewhere where even I can't get to you. Where? Look, there's an old refrigerator. Get inside, Butters. I'll break off the handle so nobody can get to you. Are you coming? It's too late for me. I can already feel my body start to change. No, must fight it. Don't open this door for anybody, Butters. No matter what you hear, stay inside for four days. Here's some water and food from the shelter. Eric, you're the best friend in the whole world. Uh, I love you. I love you too, man. I just... Uh, oh, you look so delicious. Must eat your brains. Only three more days to Casa Bonita. I'm gonna go through Black Bart's cave first. No, I'm gonna watch the cliff divers first. Maybe if I tell them it's my birthday, they'll let me cliff dive into the pool. Oh, that would be so badass. Oof. <coughs> 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 
Finally, I can breathe it. Oh my god. Oh my god, the meteor took out everything! It's all destroyed. Nothing left. Hello? Are there any... Are there any other survivors? Hello? Oh, that must have been where the library was. And that was probably the school. Hello? Oh, I forgot. I gotta watch out for radioactive cannibals. Is that a cannibal? Sir? Ma'am? Oh. Oh, it's a little dog. Well, hello there, Mr. Dog. Looks like you and me are the only ones that survived the meteor. <laughs> we should stick together, huh, Mr. Dog? Well, come on. We gotta start cleaning up this mess and rebuilding civilization. Boy, that meteor sure did make everything stinky. Bonita. We're gonna be there very soon. You're gonna love Casa Bonita, Stan. There's, there's this one part where you can dress up in old Western clothes and get your photo taken in a fake jail. Really? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, um, should we go to Black Bart's Cave first or watch the puppet show? I think we should go through Black Bart's Cave right away because we're gonna want to do it seven or eight times. And then we'll watch the Cliff Divers before the puppet show. Dude, it's Kyle's birthday. We should do whatever he wants to do. What? Fuck Kyle. Ha <laughs> ha. Just kidding. Birthday joke. Of course we do whatever Kyle wants. <laughs> Happy birthday, Kyle. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kyle. Happy birthday to you. You take away the biggest part of me. Ooh, oh, baby, please don't go. Ooh, girl, I just have to find Hello? Ah! Who are you? Are you infected? With what? You're not a cannibal, are you? No. Oh. Oh, good. You're a survivor like me. Look, Mr. Dog, another survivor. And it's a lady, too. That means we can repopulate the Earth. Yippee! Kid, what are you doing here? I'm rebuilding society. Here, take a look. This is the library, and over here is the bank. That over there I'm thinking of making into a P.F. Chang's or a Benigan. And this is a memorial to Eric Cartman, the person who gave his life so that I could rebuild society. Well, ma'am, I guess we should start repopulating the Earth, huh? Well, I'm ready whenever you are. Kid, I don't know what you think is going on, but this place is a dump. Hey, that's not very nice. This is my first society. I'm doing my best. No, I mean you're at the garbage dump. Town is right over there, everybody is fine, and I think they've been looking for you for over a week. Oh. Ma'am, can I use your phone? We're here! We're here! Casa Bonita! Oh man, this is gonna be so great! Wait up, Eric! We need to stay together! Uh, hold on, boys, that's my cell phone. Hello? Yes? Oh, that's great! Boys, they found Buttons, he's okay! Oh, awesome! I knew he'd turn up. Yes, Eric Cartman is with us, why? Oh, really? What? Yes, I will certainly let him know. Thank you. Well, it appears that Eric here is responsible for Butters missing because he wanted to go to Casa Bonita. What? Eric, the South Park police are already on their way here to have a little talk with you. But, Casa Bonita... I should have known better. You never cared about my birthday at all. But I... But... Stand back! Cartman, stop it. I am going to Casa Bonita. It's too late, fat ass. They'll be here in less than a minute. Ah, 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 less than a minute! Less than a minute! Cartman! Oh, awesome! Excuse me, excuse me. Can I just eat some of your... No, thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, gotta get back to my cave! Excuse me! Excuse me! Coming through back to my cave! Oh, oh, scary! Look at skeleton! Oh, man, I'm so scared! Oh, that was awesome! Oh, oh cliff divers! <laughs> come on, come on, dive! Dive, asshole! Oh, awesome! That was cool, huh? Come on, come on! Uh, Silver Pierce! Can I get some Silver Pierce, please? Uh, uh, sweet! 
Ooh, puppet show, puppet show. Ah! Carmen! Wah! All right, kid, end of the line. Uh, uh. Yay! Jesus Christ! Well, kid, you made an entire town panic, you lost all your friends, and now you're going to Juvenile Hall for a week. <laughs> Was it worth it? Totally. Take our seats. We have a new student joining us today who has just moved here from Utah. I want you all to say hi to Gary. Hello, everybody. It's really great to meet you all. Gary was state champion in wrestling and in tennis. He also maintained a 4.0 grade point average at his old school and has been on two national commercials for toothpaste. I'm really excited to live in this town and share all kinds of great experiences with you, my new friends. Oh, dude, what a little asshole. Yeah, screw that kid. All right, Gary, why don't you take that empty seat and we'll get started with the lesson. Hey, my name's Gary. Hi, my name's Yura. You're a fag. <laughs> That's funny. You're cool, man. Okay, now who can tell me what year the first astronauts landed on the moon? Oh, 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 1969. Very good, Gary. Wow, looks like I don't have a class full of retards anymore, doesn't it, children? Dude, that new kid is such a douche. Yeah, somebody needs to put him in his place. He's a pecker face, that's what he is. Go kick his ass, Dan. Yeah, go kick his ass. Well, maybe he won't fight. Will he bleed? That's all we care about. Come on, dude, somebody needs to wipe that fucking smirk off his face. Yeah, little bitch. All right, I'm gonna go kick his ass. Yeah, go, Dan, go, Dan. All right, I got five bucks on the other kid. Who wants it? Oh, hey there! You want to kick the ball around with me? No, I'm... I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm going down south, I'm gonna have myself a time. Friendly faces everywhere, humble folks without temptation. Going down south, I'm gonna leave my woes behind. Am I parking day or night? People spouting holly And on up south, I'm gonna see if I can't unwind. Come on down south, I can meet some friends of mine. Okay, kids, can I have a quiet, please? Okay. okay, quiet now, the assembly's about to start. Okay. What? Okay. Okay. Uh, now, kids, we have a really fun motivational group today who are going to talk to you about the dangers of smoking. Okay. So please give a very big South Park Cows welcome to Butt Out. <laughs> Give that cigarette butt a throw, but out, uh-huh, smoke it's got to go. Oh, no. Yeah. Hey, students, how we all feeling today? Woo! Hey, did you guys know that each year over 600,000 people a year die from smoking? A year. 600,000? Are you sure you're not just blowing smoke? <laughs> <laughs> Blow smoke? Us? No way, because we don't need to smoke, and neither do you, right, kids? Break it down! But out! Yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah. It's 
smoking's got to go. <laughs> smoking, no, no smoking. Freestyle, burning. Don't smoke. Don't ever smoke. Kyle. B to the U to the T to the T to the O. To Dude, this is unbearable. I'm going to kill myself. R to the E to the T to the D to the E. But I'll take Randy. Randy. Smokey no has got to go. You go, you go to no. Just say the no to the smoker. Go, go. Uh. Get, get it. Pam. Don't smoke. You guys, Kenny's eating his own hand. Hey, what's the big deal? I like smoking and it makes me cool. Oh, really? Do you think lung cancer is cool too? What about emphysema? Is that cool? And what about abortion and AIDS? That's none's the cool. Word. Yeah, so butt out. Butt, butt out. out. Yeah, 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 give that cigarette butt a throw. Butt <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Smoking's got, got to go. go. Remember kids, if you smoke, you could grow up to be a failure. Worse yet, you could grow up to be dead. So don't believe what those evil tobacco companies tell you. Yeah, because if you don't smoke, you can grow up to be just like us. <coughs> here, here, give me another one, give me another one. <coughs> oh, dude, this is really hard. <coughs> oh, shit, here comes Mr. Maggie. Throw him away. <coughs> dude, here he comes. <coughs> Gotta stop coughing. <coughs> Boys, what are you doing back here? I asked you a question. What are you doing back here? Okay. What? Ah, oh, sick! <laughs> Roasted! <laughs> well, hey, if I didn't know any better, I'd think you boys have been smoking. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Maggie. We don't have any cigarettes. Well, you better not, because let me tell you something about smoking. Uh, smoking's bad, okay? And uh, if you start smoking at an early age, okay, it's gonna be bad, okay? Because uh, smoking can lead to all kinds of health problems, like cancer, okay? And let me tell you something about cancer, okay? Uh, cancer's bad, okay? And, uh, it, what? What the? Holy shit! Okay? Whoops. Well, you boys have certainly done it this time. We're sorry. Not as sorry as you're going to be when your parents get here. Ah, here they come now. Oh, God. Come on in. Stanley, what did you do this time? You better brace yourselves, parents. The boys were caught. Smoking. Smoking? No, it can't be. My son is not a filthy smoker. Mom. <laughs> Dad, it was just... I don't have a son. Eric, you've done a lot of horrible things in your life, but smoking? You're grounded for three weeks. Three weeks? Are you fucking kidding me? Haven't you boys heard anything about how harmful smoking is to you and those around you? Of course they haven't, because the tobacco companies have gotten to them first. This is really their fault. Yeah, this is really their fault. No matter how much money the anti-smoking groups spend, the tobacco companies are there to fill our children's heads with lies and propaganda that make them want to smoke. Yeah, huh. It's like the tobacco companies have control of my mind. No, must, that's it. Tobacco companies making me want to smoke. I... Oh my goodness, I had no idea. Are you okay, sweetie? Well, those goddamn tobacco companies aren't gonna have control over my kid. I say we bring them down. We need the help of the greatest anti-smoking celebrity that ever lived, Rob Reiner. Who's Rob Reiner? I don't understand it. I pushed a law for higher taxes on cigarettes. I lobbied to get images of cigarettes removed from movies and art. I forced smokers out of bars and parks, but still I get letters from parents saying their kids are doing it. Apparently, People who still don't understand how bad smoking is for them. Don't they know how dangerous it is to their health? Don't they know the hazard of secondhand smoke? But according to the letter, sir, the town has a tobacco company quite near them. Yeah, that must be it. The tobacco companies, with their millions of dollars and their slick desks and fancy buildings, they're the ones making children want to smoke. 
That is what's hurting our nation's health. Now, I will not stand by and see the children of America corrupted by those bastards. This is war. Yeah. You guys, maybe we should come clean right now and tell everyone that it wasn't the tobacco companies that made us want to smoke. What? Why? It's perfect. If everyone's blaming the tobacco companies, then nobody's blaming us. Yeah, what's the problem? Well, it's just that this seems like another one of those times when things are gonna get way out of hand, you know? It's been happening a lot lately. How about this time we just put a stop to it right now? Dumbass, you don't want to be grounded for three weeks, do you? Yeah, don't worry, dude. Things aren't gonna get out of hand. Here he comes! Damn it! Butter! Butter! What'd he say? Butter! to see an entire town come together to fight for good health. And I'm gonna help you! <laughs> These poor, innocent children have been seduced into smoking tobacco. So I say, we fight fire with fire. We're gonna use these children to bring the tobacco company down. Oh no. All right, kids, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sneak you into the tobacco company by saying you kids want a tour for a school paper. <laughs> Once you're inside, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take photos and then we'll publish them saying that the tobacco company invited you over to seduce you into smoking, got it? Got it. But isn't that kind of lying? We're just leveling out the playing field. The tobacco companies lie to you about the dangers of smoking. If we're gonna take them down, we've gotta lie right back! Oh my god! <coughs> Excuse me! Yes? Would you mind putting that dead stick out? But, uh, this is a bar. Isn't smoking illegal in bars here? Not in Colorado. Oh my God, what kind of backward hick state is this? Look, man, I work 14 hours a day at the sawmill. I just got off work and I need to relax. Well, when I relax, I just go to my vacation house in Hawaii. I ain't got a vacation house in Hawaii. Y your vacation house in Mexico then, whatever it is. Look, you are putting my life and these boys' lives in danger by smoking that in here. And I'm not gonna tolerate it. I will end smoking in bars in Colorado there will be no more smoking! Isn't he awesome, you guys? What? Dude, he just goes around imposing his will on people. He's my idol. All right, boys. Just do what I tell you, and we'll be able to sue this tobacco company for two billion dollars. As soon as we get into the main facility, I'll snap the photo of you kids, and we can all run out. Think you can handle it? Handle it? For two billion dollars, I'd handle my grandpa's bob, sir. All right, great. Okay. Now watch yourself, kids. These tobacco company people will do anything to get you hooked on smoking. They are liars, and they are frauds! Can I help you? Yes. My name is Rita Poon. I called about my boys wanting a tour. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Mrs. Poon. My name's Kevin Harris, and I'm the vice president of Big Tobacco. Oh, hello, Mr. Harris. Well, come on in. How about a little history first? Native Americans were the first to cultivate the tobacco plant. They smoked it in pipes for medicinal and ceremonial purposes. Not if I were around, they wouldn't have. Excuse me? No, nothing. Please continue. The first successful commercial crop of tobacco was cultivated in Virginia in 1612. Within seven years, it was one of the country's largest exports. So tobacco helped to build America. That's right. Over the next few centuries, the tobacco business was so great that many slaves were brought from Africa to help work the fields. Which means if it weren't for tobacco, many of our black friends wouldn't be here today. 
And so for centuries, tobacco production flourished. Nobody was even aware of any dangers back then, until in 1965, when Congress passed an act forcing all tobacco companies to put the Surgeon General's warning on their packages. So now, everyone knows the dangers of smoking. And some people still choose to do it, and we believe that's what being an American is all about. That sounds perfectly reasonable. And here's our factory at work. With a hidey lighty lighty and a hidey lighty lay, we work and we make cigarettes all hidey lighty day. So folks can get a breaky from their stressful lighty lives and relaxy with the cigarettes we make all day and night. I like to have a cigarette every now and then. It makes me feel calmer when the day is at an end. And if it gives me cancer when I'm 80, I don't care who the hell wants to be 90 anyway. So with a hidey lighty lighty and a hidey lighty lay, we work and we make cigarettes all hidey lighty day. So folks can get a breaky from their stressful lighty lives and relaxy with the cigarettes we make all day and night. Well, I guess that's the end of our tour. Oh, here, boys. Let me get your picture. Got it! Ha! You bastards are going down now! What? I'm not Rita Poon. I'm Rob Reiner, and you've just been Reinered. Come on, boys, let's make our escape! Don't you try and stop us! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh boy, that was great, kids. Those people at the tobacco company all seem really nice. Yeah, you see that? They got into your head. Now you kids can meet some good, decent people. The folks who work to get smoking banned. <laughs> this is how we get rid of smokers. We go state to state and do things like use bogus studies and make expensive commercials to get the public on our side and force cigarette smokers to stop. <laughs> wow. It's like... It's like smoking brings a lot of people just a little bit of joy, and, and you get to take that away from them. You are so awesome. Here you go, Bob. This is Mr. Valkyrie. He does all our Photoshop work. Now all we have to do is Photoshop cigarettes into your head, and bingo! When this hits the papers, the tobacco company is screwed! <laughs> but, dude, you're making stuff up. You kids need to understand something, okay? Sometimes lying is okay. Like, when you know what's good for people more than they do. Oh my god, that is exactly what I've always said. I love this guy. Mr. Reiner, your bill to have smoking outlawed in bars here didn't pass. What? God damn it, what the hell is wrong with people in this state? Apparently, several people here still believe there's no proof secondhand smoke can kill you. They want proof? All right, we'll give them proof. Boys, I need one of you to act in a commercial for us. We'll shoot it tomorrow. Wow, a commercial? And you boys decide which one of you would be best for the part. All right, people, we gotta get moving on the bill to ban smoking in parks here. Let's go! God, he's just the best. Mr. Ryder, can I get you a muffin or, or a cold drink, perhaps? You guys, I think we should bail out of this right now. Huh? I just know where this is heading. It's gonna end up with the whole town taking this too far and us having to talk about what we learned to change everyone's minds, and I say we just stop it right now and go play cards or something. What a terrible. Yeah, maybe you're right. So, gentlemen, looks like only one of us gets to be in the commercial, huh? Who will it be? Gentlemen, the game is on. Go ahead. We don't want to be in their stupid commercial. Huh? Oh, I get it, Cal. That's your Serbian Jew double bluff. Make me think you don't care about being in the commercial so that maybe I won't either. Oops, didn't work, did it, Cal? No, we really want nothing more to do with these people. Sure you don't, Cal. Oh, and neither do I. Oh, I know what you're going to say next. You're going to say, how about none of us show up tomorrow to do it? And then I'm supposed to agree so that tomorrow you can watch it all by yourself and do the commercial. That Serbian Jew double bluff, and it ain't going to work on me. <laughs> Only one of us can be in the commercial, gentlemen. The game is on. Only one of us will be showing up to do the commercial tomorrow. <laughs> Thought you had me with your Serbian Jew double bluff, didn't you? Well, let's see you try to open this door now. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. Hello, Cap. Oh, man. Wait, this isn't my house. Carmen, you go ahead and do the commercial tomorrow. But I'm warning you, those anti-smoking people are liars and they're bullies who will stop at nothing to get what they want, and that means they're dangerous. Nice bag, 
car. Let's see you try to get through this door now. <laughs> okay, Eric, this is gonna be real simple. All you gotta do is just read the words on the teleprompter here. <laughs> okay. Let's see how the tobacco companies deal with this. <laughs> All right, roll camera. Roll the teleprompter. And whenever you're ready, Eric. <laughs> okay, okay. You know, some people say there's no proof that secondhand smoke kills. The tobacco companies say there's no proof that secondhand smoke kills. I've just been diagnosed with terminal lung cancer. I guess I'm the proof. The next time you want to believe that secondhand smoke doesn't kill, think about me. Because by the time you see this commercial, I'll be dead. Dead? Great cut! Great! We got it! Wrap up, people! That was fantastic! Uh, what? What does that mean, I'll be dead? Hey, uh, what, what was that dead part? That was very good, Eric. Here, eat this cupcake. Uh, no thanks. I'm not hungry. But you are. Just eat this one cupcake. It has sprinkles. I'm not eating the cupcake. Eric, do you know what a hero is? A hero is somebody who sacrifices himself for the good of others. You can be a hero, Eric. All you have to do is eat the cupcake. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what are you doing, Cartman? They're going to kill me! Who's going to kill you? The anti-smoking people! They had me say I died from secondhand smoking. Now they want to sacrifice me to make it look real! Now stop it, nothing! Well, get away from us, then. Yeah, dude, don't get us killed, too. You guys have to help me. No, dude, get away. Please, you guys, I don't know what to do. Stop it, Carmen. Go die on your own. If I go, you guys go. Dad! What? The anti-smoking people are trying to kill Carmen, and he won't stay away from us. Don't be ridiculous, boys. The anti-smoking people are kind, caring, and intelligent. Your heads have just been corrupted by the lies of the 